Uh, Will Draper is a golf scholar, that's for sure, who went to a school at Chaminade Prep in West Hills. And how about this? Played at Cal Poly St. Louis Obispo. Now, now he's part of the St. Andrews 600 Golf Club, doing his master's in finance and management while playing golf in the UK. Uh, Chris Harry caught up with him uh, to talk about all of those stores and the very special tournament that he is in. In this week's edition of Hometown Hero. How did you make that jump from elite golfer in the States to getting on one of the best teams in the UK and getting a yeah. great education? My college coach, Coach Rowe, he is from um, the UK, he's from Cornwall, England. Um, when I was kind of deciding whether or not to, to come and study at St. Andrews or to stay another year at Cal Poly where I did my undergrad, he just reminded me, he's like, when you, when you look at this and when you're 50 years old, 60 years old, and you're reflecting and back on this decision, like you were a part of the University of St. Andrews, you're able to play the old course, you're immersed in that, that history and um, like the home of golf, basically. Like that's, that's where golf was established and um, created. It's, it's something that not a lot of people can, can say they have done. And that kind of triggered, triggered something in me. And having the opportunity um, to, to study and, and get, get a master's degree in a year, it's, it, was, it was best of both worlds, you know? Steve, at what point during kind of his progression did you realize that, okay, Will, Will may have a future in this? Pretty early on because, you know, like I said, he obviously has talent. That was obvious from the get-go. And he's got a good work ethic and a good, and a good head on his shoulders. Um, and he really enjoys it. You know, it's not like he, it, he didn't feel like he was going to work. He was doing something that was fun, which I think is necessary. And he has that. Tom, what, what was like winning a national championship with this guy by your side? It was so awesome. We had such a good time. Um, no, it, it, was, it was one of the best couple of days ever because we were playing at like a really pristine golf course. It was super tough. It was going to be who was the toughest that was going to win because you weren't necessarily shooting good scores, but you were just out there trying to just beat the person you're up against. And I think that worked out quite well for us because we were, like, like Will was saying, we weren't taking ourselves too seriously. So we um, we just sort of saw what was in front of us and we said like, yeah, we're going to take you down. We're, we're going to have fun doing it as well. Those aspirations to become pro, those are pretty real, no? Oh well, yes, for sure, for sure. Um, it's, it's, it's a childhood dream of mine, you know, to to play in the Masters, to play in, in all these majors and, and also on the tour level as well, you know. Um, that's something you just, I don't know, you aspire to be when you're a kid and that's why I don't know. That's why you play, you know. It's you want to become the best you can, and um, you kind of I've, I've reached this point in my life where, I've, yeah, I've, I've dedicated so much time and effort into into the sport, and it's like, why not, you know? And I think that's the the biggest thing for me. It's like this is if I look back at kind of like my my reasoning for for coming to the University of St Andrews, you know, it's like if I look back my life 60 when I'm 60 years old. And I, I see kind of where, where I'm at right now. It's like I would definitely regret like not not trying. Being a pro would be the ultimate ultimate goal and ultimate to make a career out of it. Yeah, it's that's that's the that's the main driver and main key. Your parents and your dad uh, tell me just the impact that they've had on your golf career and where you are today. Yeah, my, my parents have been everything. I can't remember a time where my my dad or my mom have like missed a tournament when I was younger driving me to to the courses that were two three hours away and making making a day trip out of it you know and waking up at three four a.m. just to go play a, a qualifier or something for I don't know like the junior am and you remind yourself how much sacrifice they they put um for you to succeed that, that that's truly special and something that um, I will always be thankful and grateful for.